you guys, it's Danielle. I just wanted to come on here today and just say thank God it's Friday. Um, I just had such an amazing month, actually. It's just April, but, um, you know, this month has been one of answered prayers. I will say that. I have been just blown away by how God has helped me. Um, last month I was in a very bad car accident and my car was just completely totaled. I was thanking God that I, I wasn't like maimed or killed in that car accident because um, I got T-boned by a Jeep and I was driving a Chevy Malibu and um, I turned left in an intersection and I did yield. I didn't see the car coming. But um, as soon as I turned into the intersection, I saw this huge car just like come out of nowhere. And it was a big old Jeep. And, um, you know, in that split second, I just basically repented. I said, God, please forgive me of all my sins. Please don't let me die. And I opened my eyes and the car was just coming. And so I braced myself to say like, okay, I can't avoid this. This is really happening. So I, you know, shielded myself like this. Um, so I wouldn't hit my head against any glass or any metal. And, um, I did feel the impact. Uh, I mean, it may mainly injured me like where my seatbelt was across my chest and across my, my um, stomach where the seatbelt held me in place. And then I had a, a mark here on my arm where I had, you know, uh, shielded myself from the impact. And it took me a while to recover from that accident, you know, like the mental effects of an accident like that you just become overwhelmed, you know, because you, especially for me, like I felt like God's hands around me. Like I felt God like protect me in that moment. And, um, I knew he had sent his angels to, to protect me. And, um, I was just so thankful that nobody was in the passenger seat because it was completely caved in. And, um, and it didn't come near me. It did not come near me whatsoever. So for me, that car accident was just like a huge test of faith. I knew that I had been praying to God about my car. You know, I had been wanting to pay off my debt towards it. Um, eventually, someday, I wanted that car to go to my daughter. And so she wouldn't have to worry about getting transportation when she, you know, she'll be 13 soon. And next year she can start driving um, with a permit here in Iowa. And um, I just had to let it go. I just had to let it go when the car was totaled. I just had to say, okay, God, I, I trust you. I trust you that, you know, your plans for me are greater than my plans. Your thoughts are not my thoughts. Your ways are above my ways. And... Um, it was just such a blessing that I walked away from that car accident and, and that I could testify. And that's what I knew. As soon as I survived, like, okay, I'm here for, I'm here to testify to other people about God's goodness and about how much he cares for me. And so um, since then, I struggled a lot. You know, people did offer to help me. And, and some people I did ask, like, hey, could you help me get a ride? And, um, I just made up in my mind, like, I'm not going to be depending on others. I, I, I'm going to depend on God. And so I, uh, walked a lot of places like to the grocery store, to the gas station to get, you know, food and snacks and household stuff. And, um, I even walked into town, like I live in a suburb. And so I walked to the next town over because we don't have very many stores and stuff like that here where I live and um so I walked so much and uh while I was walking I would listen to sermons I would listen to um gospel music and I would just be praying and uh praying in the spirit and it just really um it really increased my faith and not only that, but it, uh, it made me feel closer to God because I was really, um, depending on him 100% and 
I was humbled, you know, I was in a situation that I hadn't been in. I've always had cars, you know, if I ever went without a car, um, it was only for a very short while, but in this case, I didn't know when I would get a new car. Long story short, um, when the government sent out, like, their stimulus checks, I had, you know, things that I could do with that money, but I was like, I think the best thing I can do is look for a car in my budget and just pay it off because I still owed money on that old car. Thankfully, the insurance covered most of it, but um, the rest I had gap coverage, which, you know, that's something in itself. Um, also, before my accident, I had signed up for life insurance. So I knew, like, no matter what, if something were to happen to me, my daughter would be taken care of. Um, so if you hear this message, I hope that you will get, you know, a, a right relationship with God is so important. That's going to give your soul um, the insurance that you are going to spend eternity in heaven. And while you're here on earth, just do the right thing. Like, make sure you have the correct insurance policy. Make sure that you have full coverage for accidents. Make sure if you owe a loan on a vehicle that you get gap coverage. Um, make sure that you have life insurance to cover all of your debts and burial expenses, plus living expenses for your children. Make sure that... Um, you have emergency contacts saved in your phone. Uh, make sure that you have um, extra food, extra supplies at your house for in case you don't have access to go to the store for certain things. Um, by no means do I mean hoard it. Like, you know, I don't think that that's okay. But having like a week's worth or two weeks worth supply of, of everything that you'll need, that is important. Um, making sure you have cash on hand um, in case you're not able to use your debit card. Uh, I had to download the Uber app, which that was a little scary for me. I, I have never really done something like that because I do get worried about things like assaults or getting murdered. I mean, honestly, you just never know who you're getting in the car with. But just pray. Pray before you get in. Pray before you get out. Um... And, you know, even in your vehicle, like, when you go for a, a trip, it doesn't matter if it's just down the street or if it's just, like, a quick trip. Go ahead and pray and ask God to, you know, protect you, uh, make sure you get home safely, and pray for your children um, that they will be protected while you guys are away from each other. And um, I have to testify, God is good. Like, he literally protected me. Um, I got home safely. I had a ride back home. Uh, my daughter knew I was okay. I was able to FaceTime her after the accident so she could see the car, that the car was messed up, but she could see that I was okay. And um, since then, like, my new car, it's it's very nice to, to have a new vehicle. I don't have a car lo note on it. Um, it's two years younger than my old, I'm two years older than my old car was, but it's like the same type of vehicle. And, um, I had a mechanic look at it and make sure everything looked good. They said the engine looked brand new and, um, the tires looked brand new. There's just a tiny bit of like dents and rust here and there, not very much at all. Um, and... That was just one blessing that I was just like, wow, God, like it happened so fast. Like I had been praying for it, waiting for it. And I just knew I have to have faith that God will provide and, and he will do what he says he'll do. And so when the time came for me to get the vehicle, um, that's when the nerve sets in and I just prayed and I asked God, like, God, I'm not even sure how I'm going to get there to get the vehicle because I tried to set up an Uber and nobody was responding. So I actually called my church that I attend and I asked them, like, is there anybody at the church who can help me? And I know that might be random for some people, but I really recommend that, you know, that is what the church is there for. They are your family in Christ. And if you don't have anybody else you can call, you should be able to call on them 
And um, I'm not saying that they'll be able to help with every need, but you know, something like that. Um, thankfully, they sent somebody out to, to help me. They prayed with me, like, you know, if this is the right vehicle, then definitely help help Danielle to get it. And if not, then, you know, give her peace about that. So for me, I was just, you know, I had the peace. I knew that this is a blessing from God. God provided. And as soon as I um, was able to get behind the wheel again, you know, I had anxiety. I was nervous. I kind of felt that pit in my stomach. And um, so I just wanted to say all that to say this, that, you know, God is good. He knows what you're going through. Um, it's important to have a clean heart before God and to be in that position to receive from him and be expectant that God is going to do what he said he will do. You don't necessarily know how, when, where. You don't have to have all those details because when the time is right, God is going to reveal it to you, but you have to listen for his voice. And um, so I would just like to leave that with you guys today, just an encouragement of how God protected me. He saved my life. He made sure that I came home safely to my daughter. Um, and also that, you know, we have a vehicle now that when she is old enough to drive, she'll be able to practice in that car, God willing. And um, also just, uh, I, I recommend to read Psalm 91 and to pray it over you and your household and your family. And so Psalm 91, that would be uh, what I recommend for you guys to read today. And um, that's something I started praying at the beginning of the pandemic was, um, it's like a protection prayer. And ever since then, I'm, I'm not afraid of anything. Like literally, I know God will be able to save me from anything. Um, and it might come near me, but it's not going to take me out. <laughs> like ter terrible things might happen, but it's not going to be the end of the world. And so just be encouraged that whatever you're going through, God knows. God knows exactly what you need, what you're going through. He will provide. He will protect you. And he loves you so much. And so we just thank God today. We praise God. And we give him all the glory and all the honor and all the praise. <laughs> In Jesus' name, amen. All right, you guys have a blessed weekend. And I'll be in touch with you guys soon. Bye.